In this video, I'm gonna show you how all you Android users can fix this error and play Fortnite very smoothly on your Android phone. Quick disclaimer, I have never played Fortnite before on Android. Well, except one time for sure. So kindly ignore my bot gameplay, well, even if I'm one of them. So first and foremost, what you need to do is, I've opened my Android phone over here. And first and foremost, what you need to do is you have to go to a settings tab at the top corner. As you can see, this is the settings tab. And here we have all the settings. Now, what you have to do, you have to scroll down to the very end and you have to find something where it says phone update or software update or something like that. And you can see there, I have a software update which is right and number one on the side. You just have to click on it. And you can see that it will check for updates and uh, this is, uh, I have an update pending as you can see. So I'm currently using a Realme 8 Pro and I do have a update pending. So see if you have an update pending and if you see the word, right, which states over here, which says performance written over there. So just close your eye and hit the download now or the update button. But don't hit the subscribe button with your eyes closed. Okay. Now. Quick note here, in your phone, the update tab is not necessary to be at the bottom of the settings. So make sure you go back and you go at the top and in the search tab over here, you just type in the word update so that you can see if you get the update, like as you can see at the bottom, I have got the software update at the bottom over here. So do check it out. It's not necessary that all phones will have the update settings at the bottom of the settings tab. So make sure you search it up if you are not aware of where your update setting is. The next step is that many of the users have said that this issue happens to certain Android phones. Well, technically it's not as it doesn't matter which phone you're using. What matter is what Android version you're currently in. For that, you again need to head back to your settings tab as you can see over here and then find the about phone section, which is there in the second last tab. And I'm just going to click on it. Here you will open it and you will clearly see which Android version you're using. As you can see, I have the Android version of 11 and my security patch is quite old, September 5th, 2021. So I need to update my patch, but still my Fortnite is running perfectly fine on this phone. I have no issues about it. You can see the gameplay behind. But the thing is here, the most important thing is which Android version you're at right now. now. If you have anything lower than the latest version, then probably that is the reason why you're getting the error. To fix this, you need to download the update that will update your Android version as well. If you have an, a low Android version, it will automatically, the update will be provided. And as you can see, I'm currently on Android 11 and the game runs perfectly fine on my phone. So that means Android 11 is perfect for the game. So if you have anything 10 or less than 10, so, so simple thing, you just have to go to the software update and over there you will find if there is a new latest version of the Android, it will be written over there with the software update, what kind of update it is about. As you can see, this update is about the security patch, which is came on like May 2022 in my phone. And it also improves some performance in some scenarios. So this is an update for it. It does not have a new version of Android or something like that. But if you're using a low version of Android, probably you need to do it as quick as possible. This will help you to fix the problem. So these are the simple steps. These are some simple steps which you can do in order to fix your problem and these two things you need to do, just make sure to see which Android version you are. That is the whole important concept about this particular error. Just make sure to check which Android version you are currently in. And if you're in a lower version, as I have stated, you need to update it as soon as possible. So that was it. That was the video. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, please don't forget to hit the like button. Consider subscribing to my channel if you're new here. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.